All right, so we're going to be moving into our next game. It is going to be a Terran on Terran on Abyssal Reef. Yes. Okay, PVT can take quite a long time and can be boring. I hope that Abyssal Reef uh, is not the really? map that supports that. You think Terran versus Terran is boring, huh? No, no, it can be boring. Ah. Yeah, See, it, I was actually it's, it's, told by a Zerg player that Terran vs. Terran is his favorite matchup to watch. What would you say to that? Uh, it's feasible. I can, I can understand that. Uh, you know why I like mirrors? Why do you Both like mirrors? Players? <laughs> I can see myself in them. No, <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like mirror matchups because of <clears throat> uh, one main reason. Why is that? Both both players have the same tools to win, but which tool you choose at which time uh, dedicates who is about to win. Do you know what so tool I choose? You choose, I don't know, GG? <laughs> you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I choose you, oh no! Uh, uh, Belia, oh. Belia, 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 Belia. Oh, that would be so uh, dumb if I just could say my own name. I imagine a uh, uh, discussion with that. It's, it's not even possible. So, basically, TVT, Abyssal Reef, definitely the oldest match, or the map, oldest map. Definitely the most fleshed out map. But, with Tankavac being taken out of the game, you know, so long ago, you don't really see the long lines of tanks anymore. You don't really see the zone-on-zone -zone defense. It's, it's got faster. It's got yeah. a lot faster. It's more drop-heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, speed Banshees are a heavily used strategy on ladder, mm -hmm. I can tell you. And if your enemy is not well prepared, and I don't, and I'm not talking about one single turret. I'm talking about mm -hmm. marines in position and two turrets at least. Right. You just can you can just quit right away. So let's see what these two players have prepared for us. Um, I would say a Terran wins. I would say a Terran is definitely gonna win. The and last the one is going winner of last game, currently up one nil. He is playing for Cystorm Gaming. It's our red Terran. In this Terran on Terran, he is sugar, and he's kind of sweet. <laughs> and his enemy in the top left on Abyssal Reef is wearing the blue colors of uh, well, it's it's suiting the map, I guess. It's a phase or phase, however you would like to call it. But he is in the drug, in the seat, and he has to bring back the favor for his team. Um, I'm not quite sure if he can because I, I saw a strong game from Droga to be honest. Yes. Maybe a little throw uh, where he just streamed him with all the marines. He should definitely try to not make that again because he gave the Protoss some air to breathe. Yeah, I definitely agree with that man, but... Last game was Terran vs Protoss. We all know that Terran vs Protoss and Terran vs. Terran are two totally separate matchups, almost to the point where they're totally separate games. Ooh, what do you see coming for Sugar? Is he like a surefire favorite here? Or is this, you know, slightly later expansion out of Faz? Uh, going to make Faz the aggressor. Um, I guess. Faz might just try to, you know, uh, maybe distract with some alien reapers uh, and use both at the same time. And uh, well, Abyssal Reef is not the good map for reapers, though. Um, I don't know. Uh, I would say Sugar is going for medivac drops with uh, with Widow Mines or and maybe using them strategically. Stretch. No, there's no, no way my uh, German uh, mouth can pronounce that correctly, I'm sorry. But I hope you get what I mean. 
Yes, um, indeed. But, 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 but by spreading out the Widow Mines across the map for like um, for some choke points to pick up a uh, unit here and there. Oh, poor Hellion, you should not push uh, push over there. He gets a lot of damage before even reaching or seeing the Marines. And they have already Medivix on the line for sure, and he's just boosting over there. Needs to be careful though, uh, not to get scouted because the Reapers are already uh, are still around. And okay, he has one tank, so uh, no problem on that side. Well, we um, actually yeah. have Faz going for a Raven in addition to some Cyclones right now. Oh, Cyclones and Raven getting scouted as well as that Command Center man. This is almost like ideal play by Sugar. Yeah, it is, and uh, I don't know what his, uh, his plan is with that with that drop. He just picked up the heavily damaged uh, Hellion, um, so um, that drop already had his purpose filled, in my opinion, because that takes uh, map control. Oh, and that Reaper uh, almost run ran into that Widow Mine. Well, this could be fairly nasty. Sugar coming up with a Liberator at the back of this natural and choosing to target a mule first thing he can. Kills off an additional... Uh, I believe that was two SCVs, but I could do that. Yeah, and the drop from Sugar did uh, nothing so far. But he's taken his, his third anyways. And that's kind of early in my opinion. This is... I mean, Fuzz didn't even uh, saturate his natural, and, and the Red Terran is already getting a third gun done. This is... He needs to be careful with his drop now, because this it feels like this is the whole army he has. And Fuzz is taking... Well, he has two Ravens already, so maybe you might see a Raven harassment soon as well. Because you can throw them down in front of turrets, clear turrets, uh, or... And, uh, was there to uh, replenish them or uh, lose workers right away because the turrets of the ravens have uh, range 6 and this is a great harassment tool because usually the raven uh, stays alive. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a drop here on top of the third base of Baz and of course that is going to be completely shut down um, by Faz. Sugar... <laughs> He's got to be very careful, because um, he is exposing himself on that third base, like you mentioned. Yeah. It's, it's an angle he is giving to the to the enemy, and if he walks right in and through this back door, he is morphing another orbital command though, he needs the third mule. If he can mine from this, like for four minutes or something, he is way ahead, and the mule hammer is strong, you know. Um, and on top of that, if he can manage to... Um, deny that third a little or uh, steal some mining time, he would be good to go. But I really see the problem in the in the army Fuzz is just building. He got tanks, you got ravens, uh, he got a couple of cyclones to to actually um, take a few hits off the enemy's tanks so the marines can survive a little longer. Uh, th these mech units are kind of heavy, hard to kill even though he's going for a bio build and, and the ray will become a true problem maybe some vikings uh, within them because then you can snipe the medivacs easier and the marines without mm -hmm. uh, additional health bar regeneration mm -hmm. are uh, you might have seen that uh, there are some footages footages uh, running around on the internet marines with medivacs marines without he medivacs it's a totally different story. Oh yeah, and here's one big difference in both these players' compositions. We've got 1-1 one, one upgrades coming out of Faz. In addition, he's getting 2-2, two, two, uh, you know, very, very quickly. His opponent, yeah. just now, you know, halfway Stop. to 1-1. One, one. Yeah, and, and this is crucial. 2-2 two, two Marines like uh, really uh, punish punish one one marines and that's not even a question of of the medevac power behind that it's it's just so hurtful with together with the stim uh, 
because of the acceleration of the attack speed. This is... I, I always feel like if you have plus one... Oh! Double drop in the main of Fuzz in the top left. And he's killing a lot of shit there. Yeah. The, the SCVs get pulled away way too early. Oh, can he even kill his main? No. Try to, but... He can try, but Faz does shut that down. And we've got at least two SCVs repairing that, so it's not going to burn away either. But you've got to wonder. He's up 14, 16 SCVs at this point. Yet... Yeah, yeah. Two two upgrades are about to be completing for Faz. Has this been enough damage out of the red Terran? Uh, I don't think so. They're pretty even right now. Uh, and with the finishing upgrades, I really see a problem for, for Sugar. Because his meat shield will melt away super fast. And without Marines, the tanks are just dying. Yeah, Look all these me. tanks completely late on the siege sugar losing those tanks i think the 2-2 upgrades right now the 2-2 bio upgrades for faz he's going to be able to at least shut down this fourth base of his opponent and this is the type of key victory that risen needed in the second best of seven. Oh yeah oh there's one widow mine and it connects pretty good but there's just one tank to deliver AoE damage. Tanks are on siege and use, and he is able to clear that. And that's all just because this Widow Mine just had the AoE damage of its lifetime. Mm -hmm. killed, killed 11 Marines because he stimmed, and the Widow Mine came right after you stimmed. So basically, the first 10 Marines which fall had like 5 HP. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty brutal, man, and uh, Faz is definitely in a position right now to defend his own bases, and both these players are choosing to attack into really bad positions in this game. It's, it's like uh, bo uh, both have the, uh, like the, the, red, the red curtain in front of their eyes, and there was just want to spread uh, marine blood mm -hmm. no matter wh what side is from I guess uh, both have to uh, relocate and uh, well start thinking about tactics again I mean the 2-2 is almost finishing for Shurga he might have the better economy uh, and now this might become a problem I, I mean look at what he is producing uh, he's producing 50 marines at once at one tank and on the other side we have a little less uh, you see that fast has a little bit less of econ economy uh, income he's missing like 400 minerals this is this might not be much but now with the 2-2 finishing he has like a 20 second uh, attack window where he is even after that 3-3 free free is ready and we see the same again as uh, uh, one minute ago he, he will get crushed but now he might be able to do something. Well, both players are very, very careful to uh, go ahead and siege up their tanks. Both players have been attacking in with unseaged tanks. One, um, uh, one player right now has to basically constantly be sacrificing. If ever one player gains an advantage with scouting in this Terran vs. Terran, you all know that uh, tanks can shoot further than they can see so what oh there's a lockdown going on in the southern location you actually have in this northern location both players trading very heavily their bio the, the forces free, the free free was ready and all eyes um well basically not diving they gone out of the water and mm -hmm. You, you, you saw the difference. 3-3 free, free against 2-2. Two, two. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like uh, throwing a goose into the shredder. Mm -hmm. It looks painful. It's, it's not healthy. He is even pulling SCVs now. So, why the hell is he... He has a bit of upgrades. 
he had a better fighting position, but he's still kind of losing. Faz has, doesn't have the economy to support this fight. Well, he also doesn't have uh, the plus one tank upgrade. Ah, that's crucial, right? Yeah. That's, that's a lot of fighting power there. And it, it uh, honestly, I think Faz has been trading a lot and like you just mentioned economically just can't afford those trades. He's not there. Yeah, um, both players trading a lot in the last few engagements and losing tanks and while yeah that last engagement did look okay with both players um, you know shutting down each other in terms of tanks and trying to get the the spotter there get some kind of air unit there to be able to increase their range because you know tanks can see or can attack one to th like what is it one or three range further than they can actually shoot I don't remember exactly but I know that Terran vs Terran now that tank vax is no longer a thing you're seeing a lot more bio but it's still going to come down to whose tank lines are attacking into each other in the mid and late game yeah um, this is really the point I, I missed out. Plus, attack on, on the tanks really mm -hmm. made the difference in the end because uh, they hit like a truck. This, yeah. this a bonus AoE, this, it just hurts. And uh, maybe that was the, um, the case in the first fight where, mm -hmm. we, where the mid Widow Mine hit kind of hit half of the Terran army from, uh, from Faz. From that point on, he mm -hmm. was stuck on three bases. He never got a fourth mm -hmm. up, and in the end, Shoka had five bases and was just pumping units till the enemy called GG. So he was economically at a different other state. He was he was so low, the, the main was mined out anyways, so he was basically on two bases mining. He had a better upgrade, but he traded so much in that uh, the stream of units was... Well, someday it's over. It's like the humans uh, using uh, biological resources. There will be a day that you recognize that wasn't a nice idea. Hmm. I, sh I, sh I should have uh, gone to Mars or something like that. Yes, indeed. Well, Psystorm Gaming currently up 2-0 in the second best of seven. Risen definitely did not want this to go to a second best of seven. But more importantly, Risen has already lost their best player in the form of fight some crime. So this could definitely be an uphill battle for them. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.